what's up today we're gonna be checking out the smallie action again have it it's been a while since i've fished for some smallie so i'm trying a brand new spot so we got some backup plans if needed hopefully we can catch some tanks out of there we'll see see you there some people down here jamming out swimming we try to sneak on by there it was but he missed oh he got it that time Ain't a bad fish. I had a good feeling about this spot. Come on, baby. He clobbered it. He is good. A nice solid smally it's been pretty long hopefully we can catch some more of these guys first one of the day nice size one decent one great fight let's go he hit it missed it the first time and came right back for it again he was like i want that i saw him feeding up here in the shade I was like, there's no way I'm not going to get one right here because I saw one feeding and it's shady and nice and looks so fishy. There's logs everywhere. Where is he? He was up in this little cut up here. There it was. Yes. I knew it. Smaller guy, but he's good. Same spot. I'm right here. They are nuts. It's like high school kids, I think. Come on, baby. We got two out of the same spot. While those kids were hooping and hollering. I'm carrying your love with me. West Virginia down to Tennessee. It's a beautiful place. You just got people screaming and revving trucks the whole time. Like, what the hell? Right next to my car, too, so. This place looks so freaking fishy. Oh, that's big. That's big. Oh, 
Oh God. Nice, he came out. I might have to horse him. No. Oh my God. Definitely the nicest fish of the day. Oh my gosh, he wasn't coming unhooked, good. I was lucky because he got wrapped around so many trees right there, I'm freaking out. He's close to three pounds. There we go. Smoke that to plopper. I am so pumped. It's been a while since I've had a good smallie. He's probably like 2.75 maybe. Oh yeah, there he goes, nice. Thought I was gonna lose him in it's the been log. been so hot lately. And today's actually like a cooler day. But the adrenaline from that fish and then he got stuck on the end of this log and I just had to reach over and break that stick. And then he kind of got almost wrapped up in there. Oh, he was, I'm lucky he was hooked pretty well. But he was probably, he was just under three pounds, I'd say. Whew. Let's go. Ugh. West Virginia down to Tennessee. Actually... I am going to West Virginia for like nine or ten days or something like that. I leave in two days. Today's Tuesday. I leave on Thursday. I'm super pumped about it. Gonna make as, as many videos as I can with whatever I do when I fish. I plan to fish there. My grandparents have a lot of property. Got lots of family around there with property and stock ponds and stuff like that. That's where I, I caught my uh, biggest catfish it's like a 20 pounder out of my um uncle's pond in west virginia but i will say that it's pretty secluded west virginia is pretty self-sufficient if the world shut down so oh i watched him come from the left and hit it that was so cool the wi-fi <laughs> doesn't exist at my grandparents but i might be able to find it somewhere so i might just have to record and then upload a bunch of videos when i get back or something so if i don't post for a little while that's why i watched that guy come from the left he wasn't very big but i saw his wake and go, I'm taking a trip to west virginia to see family and fish if you ain't got some felt sold wading boots then you're doing it wrong the only time i slide around is when i'm on like muck but rocks, forget about it. I could sprint, do a marathon on them. I'm pretty happy with that purchase. <sighs> ah! There's been bear sighting over here. That sounded like a deer walking, but just to be safe. I don't want no action from a bear. That's for sure. Tied on the wacky for the way back. We got this guy on. Try something different for the way out. Oh, something just ate it. I saw him, he's tiny, but he ate it. Bye. Smallest one of the day. I watched him ate it. Watched him ate that crap. Let's go for another. There it was. Oh, he's off. He came out from under that log in like the dark. He missed the first time because there was a bunch of muck that I was kicking up. 
That was cool. He ain't bad. Well, there he is. Oh, this little bass just like got his tail eaten. He like can't swim right. Look at him, he just like comes to the top. Well, I'm glad we got out here. I was in need of some uh, fishing of any kind, catching some decent ones. I caught that really nice one. He was around three pounds. Very, very proud of that one. Yeah, it was a good day smallmouth fishing. I was I was trying to get out quick and get a video out and fish before I leave. Got the job done. We got like five or six fish. Some couple of them were small, but there was three that were like pretty good size. So I'm okay with it. We will see you on the next one. Till next time. <laughs>